Hi, my name is Natalie and we're gonna be mapping brows three different ways. You're gonna need a caliper, um, the Mad Brow Love stencils. I like to use a really crisp, sharp china pencil. So I start off by measuring the front of the brows. I use the golden ratio to measure out where the center of the brow is and where each brow should start. And then I just measure it to make sure that it's an equal distance between that middle part. Once those lines are drawn, I move over to the arch of the brow and I use the caliper as a marker use the caliper as a marker and what I mean by that is I just rub a little bit of my china pencil onto the silver part of the caliper and then I drag it through the skin so right now you're going to see me do the arch and when I do that I'm just going to roll it back and then slide it across her face and then here I am measuring at the end of her brow and then I do it on the other side I like to measure and match each side but not every face is symmetrical so once you sit your client up you could use your judgment from looking at them if you need to make any adjustments. Anytime I map, I always sit them up and check my work. And I also measure and reevaluate to make sure if I need to make any changes. You always want to make sure that the tail of the brow is shorter than the front section of the brow just so the face doesn't seem dragged down or the eyebrow doesn't look awkwardly placed. When I'm using the thread, I'm doing a back and forth rotating motion just so it leaves that ink mark and it's a perfectly fine straight line. Then when I do the arch of the brow, I connect that line at the very top of the forehead and I'm also going to make an X mark there. Remember you're always going to check them standing up to make sure that one is not higher than the other, longer or shorter. Standing them up is the best way but it's easier for me to do it laying down and then checking my work once they're sitting up. soft arch and then I move to the other side so then this is how it will look and then once you check everything you could go ahead and wipe it off and this is how we'll look. Keeping the lines very thin and crisp is really important. I use a micro swab or a wipe to wipe away any lines that are not used in the outline. Now starting with the ruler. I place the ruler in the middle of the forehead and draw the lines where I want the arch and the ends of the brow to meet. I lightly trace the outline making sure that my pencil is at 90 degrees and I trace the outline of the brow. Her brows are pretty great so I don't really need to check measurements, but I always like to start the bottom at the same point and the top of the brow at the same point as well. This is great for someone who has uneven heights and lengths of brows, so you could use the ruler to make it very precise. Now this third part is very simple. You're gonna mark the forehead just like before. 
So I add a little bit of my china pencil to my caliper and then drag it through to make my marks. Once I have the fronts of the brows ready, the arch and the ends ready, then I grab my stencil. Before starting, I like to show my client the different stencils that I have, and we want to match it as close to her natural eyebrow as possible. I lay it flat onto the brow, matching so the line diagonal is very straight. We want to make sure that they are angled exactly the same so one isn't tilting up or down. Then I lift up. You need to make sure that your pencil is at a 90 degree angle so that your line is very thin and crisp. Any slight offness will be detected because one will look thinner or thicker than the other and it is because the pencil is not being dragged directly across the stencil line. I love the Mad Brow stencils. They're so easy to use and they have the markings on there for the golden ratio when it comes to the front, the arch, and the end of the brows. And that diagonal line at the bottom, labeled letter D, make sure that the, that the stencil is laid straight across the person's forehead. very important thing is having your pencil sharpened very sharp to get a nice crisp line. Checking your work while they're sitting up and here we have the stencil, the mapping string, and then our ruler. Let me know if you like any more details on each one and if you'd like to see how I sharpen my pencil. Bye!